Hello folks, Jason Christman here, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. I'm pretty excited about today's video, not only because of the topic I'm going to discuss, but from a video proposal I'm going to propose to you guys today in this video. And if you're interested, you'll be able to go over to my Patreon, read the instructions, and submit some of your own photos to be included in upcoming videos or this video series that I am proposing. So make sure you check out the whole video so you see all the content and uh yeah i'm pretty excited so in today's video we're going to discuss hive tools there's a lot of different hive tools on the market and we're going to break a few of them down and kind of show you the different options that each one offers so check this out and then i'll propose my video series idea to you okay so let's discuss some hive tools before we get into this, I want to give a big shout out to Blythewood Bee Supply. They supplied all but two of the hive tools I'm going to go over. Um, obviously the dirty one on the right side of your screen and the wooden one. Those are my two personal um, hive tools. Um, the one with the wooden handle, Blythewood does carry. They were just uh, didn't have any in stock, so they weren't able to send me one. Um, but I want to give Scott a big thank you for sending these uh, hive tools up here. So I could look them over and uh, give them a try. And I'm looking forward to uh, next year's bee season so I can experiment with each one. But for right now, I just want to go over each one and, and point out some of the factors that I can see. So this is um, my very first hive tool, and it's a very common hive tool. Um, this one and this one, whether it be the red or the pink, um, are very common to come in starter kits for beekeeping. So um, if you're looking to get one of those kits and it comes with a hive tool, don't be surprised if it's one of these two. Both of these are great tools. They just have their own um, advantages and disadvantages. This one here, as you can see, has two scrapers. It has one down here and it has one over here. It also has um, a nail remover, which is very nice when you're working on frames or, or whatever. Um, both edges are relatively sharp and they should stay sharp on all of your tools. Um, if the edge, the sharp edge goes dull, take some time and uh, sharpen it up. Just be careful, um, but the sharpness will help save a lot of time while you're working your bees <coughs> and scraping off burr comb or whatever it may be. So a very common tool. The thing I don't like about this is it does not have a frame lifter. So that's one of the disadvantages to this. Matter of fact, when I started beekeeping, like I said, this was my first hive tool. And, and then I seen my cousin had a frame lifting hive tool like this one. And I seen how convenient it was to be able to elevate the frames with the J hook. And I had to get me one. So for a long time, I carried both of these hive tools around. And then I learned about this one, which we'll get to in a few minutes. So a very good hive tool. The disadvantage is it doesn't have a frame lifter. Okay, the small Turkish hive tool. And this is one from Blythewood, and actually they still got the price on it. It's $5.95. Um, very nice um, tool. I like the, the girth to it. It's nice and meaty. Um, doesn't feel like it would ever bend. But here on one end, you've got your frame lifter with adjustable increments on how far down between the frames you want to go and how much lift you want to give. Um, up here we have our nail puller, which is kind of standard on about all hive tools. And here we have uh, a bevel on this side, which gives it a sharp edge for scraping burr comb or whatever we might need. Very nice hive tool. I like its, um, its narrowness. Seems like it would be really easy to carry around. And um, that's long enough you probably wouldn't lose it. So that's the small Turkish hive tool. Now the large Turkish hive tool. As you can see is about, let's see, a good inch and a half, two inches longer than the small hive tool. The head on it is a lot wider than any hive tool I've seen. Um, if we compare it with the standard hive tool, yeah, you're a good, uh, I'd say three quarters of an inch difference in the width, which could be nice. Um, it's actually wide enough where you can go across the top of two frames at one time and clean the burr comb off. So that, that's a handy feature. Um, here we've got the, the frame lifter with adjustable increments 
on how far down in between the frames you want to go. And I'll, I'll show you here in a second how this frame lifter works on all of these tools. Um, they're all pretty much the same, but I'll kind of show you in case you're new to beekeeping and don't understand what, about, what I mean about elevating the frames with this J-hook. Um, we've also got our beer opener because we know how important it is to be drinking when we're in the bee yard. Now, I'm not really sure what that there would be for. I'm sure there's a use for it. It's just not coming to mind at the time. We got our nail puller. Very nice hive tool. One thing I do notice about this is it's got this bevel that runs long ways right down the middle. And then the two sides are kind of kinked in a little bit. And what that does is gives the hive tool a lot of strength. There's no way I could bend this hive tool unless I was actually tearing out studs out of a house or something to that extent. It's just very well made. So this one here, the price is still on it too, and it's $9.95. Very nice hive tool. Those are the Turkish hive tools there. Now on to the standard J-hook hive tool. Comes in red or the optional pink. Very good hive tool. Um, one thing I like about it is it's got the beveled edge on two sides which gives you a nice corner to work with. Say you're scraping out corners and you need a good wedge to get down in there. Very nice. Um, these hive tools here are usually razor sharp too. So you gotta be careful with them when you get them. Um, we got the nail puller and the J hook to raise and elevate frames. And this here would be your fulcrum right back here on the back. And I'll go over that, like I said, over the J hooks here in a second. Okay, now about five years ago, um, when I started working with Saracel, um, I was on their website and noticed this hive tool, and I'd never seen it here in the United States. I was rather impressed with what I'd seen, and at the time they were getting ready to send me some products to do uh, video reviews on. So I asked them to send me a few of these, and they sent me, I think, three or four. I gave one to my cousin. Um, I have one that looked really rough my first one that I opened, and this one I just opened this year. But you can see it has uh, laser etched Saracel Bees for Life here on the end. Um, I don't think Saracel actually owns the patent for this tool because I see several companies um, producing and selling it. Um, I don't personally know who the main manufacturer is, but I would love for them to reach out to me. I've pushed a lot of sales on this hive tool just because of the convenience and just how damn nice it is. It's freaking awesome, guys. I'm telling you, this is my favorite, favorite hive tool. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Besides having the two beveled ed edges, which gives us the corner scraper, besides having a nail puller, which you can notice has got two eyes. It's got an eye on each end, which you look down here. The Turkish only has the eye on one end. The J-hook is double-ended. And these two are double-ended. So, kind of common, I guess, to be double-ended. Here we have a frame cleaner. And I'll show you what that's about here in a second. A metal excluder cleaner. Our frame lifter. Um, a 90-degree scraper, which also acts as a fulcrum. And this little thing here, it looks like a weight, um, is a fulcrum slash small nail tack hammer. So, let me go back here to the frame cleaner. This little lip right here, although it isn't used very often, you'll find that when you're assembling frames and you want to clean out the bottom groove and, and your frame before you stick in foundation, it's nice to have a tool that's made to go right down in that groove, drag it across, and I'm not going to do it now because I don't want wax all over the place and uh, have a reason for hive beetles to come pouring in because I left a mess out here. But you would stick that down in the groove, drag it across, scraping off all the wax on the top and anything down in the groove. It also works at the top. So it's a very handy feature to have right there. Now as far as the excluder, and I'm not going to use it either because of the same reason, but I'm going to give you uh, a visual of what this would look like. You're going to take these teeth, you're going to put them right down around the wire, like so, and then you're going to drag it across, pulling off any comb that's in its path, like you see there. Like I say, it's not something you're going to use all the time, but when you need it, it's nice to have it. And that's one thing I liked about this tool since I've had it, 
every time I would carry my standard hive tool to the bee yard, there would always be the use of another one that I did not have with me. Every time. This one here fills in the spot very well. Takes care of all of my needs. It doesn't mean I'm pushing this one any harder. I'm just telling you, this one has done what I need it to do without me falling back on one of these other hive tools. Very, very handy hive tool. And I'm gonna show you, like I said, how this J-hook works in a second. This is the mini J-hook hive tool. I see a lot of beekeepers going to this just because of its convenience and how small it is. You can see it fits right in the palm of my hand. It's very nice to throw in your back pocket. Um, the thing is, with its size, it's very easy to, uh, to lose this or misplace it. So what you'd want to do is get you a few of them. Throw a couple in your vehicle, maybe a couple in your beekeeping toolbox, um, maybe keep a couple at each bee yard, who knows. Um, got got the, uh, the nail puller, double wide. Um, one thing I have noticed about this hive tool that I've never seen on any of the other ones is this bevel here, where they get it sharp, it's beveled on both sides. It's very uncommon. Uh, I don't see any flaws in that. It's just very uncommon. And then down here we have your frame lifter. This one here is just called the stainless steel J-hook hive tool, but it kind of looks like the Italian hive tool to me, but I could be wrong. It's extra long. Let's see if we put it here next to this red one. They're actually about the same length, with the exception of how this frame lifter comes off. They are definitely a little bit narrower. Yeah, I'm gonna say a good three-eighths of an inch narrower. So it's actually wide enough that it only does one frame. Very well made, um, double-edged here, so you've got a scraping corner. Um, it's very convenient and it's also very popular as you look across the table here. We've got one, two, three, three different designs with the corner scraper. And then we've got uh, one, two, three, four, I guess, with just the straight scraper. So, I don't know. Something I thought I'd point out there. Um, anyway, we've got the frame lifter down here. But other, over, overall, it's a, it's a very nice tool. So let me give you a quick demonstration on how this frame lifter works. Okay, so with your frame lifter, and we'll start with this favorite hive tool here of mine. We're going to go right down. We're going to take this little finger. And we're going to go right at the beginning of the frames where you should pry. And we're going to stick that finger in there. And then we're going to lift, pull back. And you can see how it lifts that frame up and out of there. Now, sure, you can do that pretty easy with a brand new box. But once you get bees in there that start packing away honey or nectar and start building a lot of bee glue around frames or propolis, then the frames aren't going to move so easy. So a good tool for prying up the ends makes a big difference. So now let me explain the two fulcrums on this one hive tool. You can see now that the fulcrum I am using now is this bottom one. And what it's doing is it's sitting on the adjacent frame next to the one I'm lifting. And it's acting as my leverage point right down here. Now if we remove these two frames, now there's nothing for this fulcrum to sit against. So it's going to rely on this side fulcrum to elevate the frame up and out. So that's why there is a side fulcrum. You could actually take it off and probably lose quite a bit of weight because it is a solid piece of steel. But I like it for an extra backup tack hammer. If I see a nail that's sticking out, I ain't got to use one of these, rely on one of these to tap it in. I've got something solid that's going to push it right back where it belongs and I can move on and not have to worry about it again. So all of these frame lifters are going to be about the same. You can see here this little lip or little ledge, that's your fulcrum on this one. You're going to stick it down in there. That little fulcrum here at the back corner is going to grab the adjacent frame. That's your leverage point. On the Turkish tools, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to go down into however deep or however much leverage you think you need to lift the frame and right up and out. right up and out now I imagine if you would go down all the way you could well yeah you can lift two frames because of that's the advantage to the long uh, J hook so there you go folks there's a few hive tools for you to think about uh, if you have any questions or comments about any of them um, leave them down below 
um, I'm going to try and list as many of these as I can down in the video description if it's something you're interested in. And uh, yeah. So what'd you think? Did you realize there were so many different hive tools on the market? <laughs> Jeez. Seems like every time we turn around there's a new hive tool coming out. It is what it is. I guess uh, personally I have my favorite and I shared that with you. If you're interested in any of these hive tools, there's uh, links for each of them listed down in the video description. And it'll take you right over to Blythewood Bee Supply and uh, you can purchase them. Some of the links even go to Amazon, so you've got a couple different options there. I know you Prime members really like the free shipping, so I understand. I'm a Prime member myself. Okay, so now for this video proposal idea. Um, in the winter time, it's very hard to come up with different ideas every week um, based on beekeeping to produce videos. So I've come up with this idea to uh, kind of create some content over winter with your all's help. And this is how it's going to work. I'm going to take, um, in each video, I'm going to take four different people's winter hives set up and um, I'm going to compare, or I'm going to rate them. So basically, I'll pull up a picture next to me We'll all look it over in the video, and I'll discuss a small description that was emailed to me with each picture, and I'll explain the setup to you, and then after the explanation of the hive setup, I will rate it, and my rating system, instead of being um, stars, is going to be hive tools, just because we're beekeepers, and stars don't really play into our life, so we're going to use hive tools. And you can rate as high as five hive tools and as low as zero hive tools. I think it's going to be fun and it's going to also bring up some new ideas that maybe we haven't thought of. And it's also going to give people that share photos a chance for somebody in their region to comment and maybe give them a little bit more insight. So it's not to bash anybody's setup by any means. It's just a way to have some fun, share our different setups, and... Uh, get rated by hive tools so if this is something you're interested in go down in the video description click on the link that'll take you over to the patreon post that explains how to enter into this and make sure you follow each each uh, step very carefully because if you do not your picture will not make it into a video um, I don't want to have to chase everybody down and or track everybody down and say hey you didn't fill this out you did didn't you miss this so just make sure you follow the instructions very closely and be as clear as possible and uh, with that hey we might create something new here and it could bloom into to several different video series um, could you imagine uh, rate my brood frame or rate my queen rate my honey harvest there's many different things we can do with this but first we've got to uh, we've got to create the template if you will so I thought it'd be fun to do, and it's also going to give me some content. Ladybug! Ladybug! Tell everybody hi. This is a microphone, honey. Tell them hi. Come here, fat girl. Come here, big girl. Oh, Ladybug, she's a good girl. She's settling in quite fine in our house, aren't you, girl? Yes. <laughs> Hers a little pistol, I tell you. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed today's video, throw me a big thumbs up. That'll help boost it into YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other beekeepers to find. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so and make sure you click on the little bell so you can get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week, folks.